Hello and welcome back. This is the second section of machine learning with the project core. In the previous section, we learned about naive Bayesian theorem and how machine learning can be achieved with the probabilistic model. So the fundamental reason for starting with naive based probabilistic model is because it's a one of the simple model to understand. And also the main reason is the maths behind the machine learning algorithm is much more important when we actually put our machine learning in the real world. For example, we saw that in the previous section, there's one event which is based out of multiple events. So for example, the condition probability of nose running is based out of multiple events. And if we can guess what is the probability of individual event, then we can also guess with correct accuracy up to a certain extent what will be the probability of that you are having some fever so we got an understanding that what will be the mindset when we go and look into machine learning machine learning is not a jargons now it's mostly about your algorithm learning and there's a lot of maths behind the picture so in this section, we want to take it to the next level where we will be starting with a framework, a basic framework, and try to show you the maths aspect of the machine learning, which is often removed, or even if you are understanding the math aspect, you are not much comfortable with it. So we will spend some time to understand the maths aspect, the learning parameters, the differentiation, integration, if you have not much background of differentiation, integration, or you have done those in the high school and now you have forgotten, then we'll try to keep everything pretty simple so you can get what a model does internally so it can learn and how it happens. Then we'll go into Spark and try to understand how to implement a machine learning model. In our case, it is co-product model into Spark. There are multiple other ways to do it with Python, scikit-learn, NumPy, but we will be using Spark because it's scalable and we are using Spark in the project core with the help of the library. We are not going to write the standard machine learning algorithm from our side, but we will understand how internally the maths actually works out. So let's go ahead and start with what a basic algorithm in general looks like and what it does internally. So what we have in the first step of any type of algorithm is we need to know what we know and what we don't know. For example, if you know that this is product 0, 1, 2, 3 and our customer is buying product 0. We know that from the past history product 1 was sold with the product 0 but we need to find what is the likelihoodness of product 0 selling our product to so if the customer is buying product zero then they will be also buying product two with it and also product three with it so we will sort the probability and try to show the highest probability product as a recommendation product so this is a simple problem what we have and similar to that any problem in the world which you will be solving with machine learning you will have certain information which you know which you already have experienced from the past and some which you don't know. For example, in the scenario, we are saying that we don't know what is the probability of two getting sold with zero and three getting sold with zero. So this is what we have. Now, I'm not talking about supervised, unsupervised learning. I'm giving you a frame. Now, supervised, unsupervised learning basically comes out how we train the learning parameter. So don't think in that aspect. Just keep this step by step and follow what I'm saying. I'm saying that we know what we have in our hand and we know exactly what we don't have in our hand, which we need to find. That is the first step for any problem solving approach. Now, once you realize what is the problem which you don't have, then the first step you do is you guess. And um, this is most astonishing part about machine learning is you guess and then you ask how do i guess how do i guess i can guess anything 
I can guess minus infinity to the power 2020. Who, who knows what guess? The guess is based out of the model which you have selected. For example, if this is a simple line equation where alpha and beta are variable. So, for example, simple line equation are y equal to mx plus c. So, x and y are variable. m is a slope and c is the constant here. So, we take a simple equation or mathematical model what we say then. We say that c alpha plus beta where alpha and beta are variables and c is the constant. Can be a slope, can be anything but is a constant. Now, we have not put boundary. I'm just giving a generic frame. So, we are not saying that this is the equation of line with alpha and beta. There can be multiple parameter gamma and zeta and all making our algorithm much more robust. But let's assume that there are only two variables and based out of these variables, we are guessing some value. For example, if we start with alpha equal to 0 0.02 and beta equal to 0 0.0001. So based out of some best practices of machine learning world, we guess this two value and we came up with some values. For example, if the probability of this is 0 product 1, 2, 3 of 1 getting soul, which is C equal to, we put that in the equation and we say C so let's take c as 10. So if we take c as 10, then uh, c multiplied by alpha is going to be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.0001, which is equal to 0 0.2001. Now, what we are going to do is this is the value of c, this is also the value of b and this is the also the value of a in the beginning we are guessing all the probability as same now what happens in the next step now here we got some of the values which we have actually guessed in the first step and our job is to now verify what is the difference to the value which we know for example in this case in the first step we know the value of c is this much. Now this will be also the value of a and b for the first time when we are guessing because all the unknown will be same. Now we already know some of the value from the past. For example, here we know that 0 and 1 has been sold. So this has a value or probability of maybe 0 0.8 or 1 or they are always sold or 0 0.9 something like that.